Uh, today's goal is to play around with the newly cleaned bearings of my uh, Serena XF50. The other day I was trying to change out the bearings for ceramic hybrid bearings on this reel, but uh, you guys see an overlay right here. It looks super dirty, so I cleaned it out with some acetone to remove all the factory grease. And in fact, you guys should do that to some of your reels sometimes because they cake it with thick grease, which means your bearings won't spin as great. But uh, they do that for a reason, and it's to keep the longevity of your spool. Oh, got a nice grip. Oh no! Oh no, that was great! Ah, oh, dude, it was a slab. Ah, oh, hopefully it bites again. But um, yeah, as I was saying, they they do that to the bearings so that uh, your reels could last longer. But uh, it sacrificed some performance. So all you have to do is clean it out and put on your favorite high performance lube, oil, actually to be on uh, exact oil, like thin oil, and you should be good to go. And that's what I did today. And guys, I'm casting this 1 16th ounce jig head, not jig head, ice fishing jig, the Z Viber from Euro Tackle. So much easier than before. Like before, this uh, casting this was, it was hard. It was really hard. And I'm hoping that being able to cast this jig like this means, uh, yeah, I think uh, I may not need to upgrade my real uh, bearings to ceramic high bearings yet because, you know, that's kind of expensive unless you reach out to like a uh, Chinese company like Zodi and, you know, get them in bulk. Sometimes you'd be lucky and not get them in bulk because I was able to uh, speak with them recently and I may get some more for specific reels. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully I don't need to do it anytime soon. I want to play with this at least a few more trips after I clean it up because obviously I'm just casting one lure right now. I'm focused on the, the 1 16th ounce jig head, ice fishing jig, keep saying jig head, and uh, see how many fish I can catch. And the distance wise, you know, it is a 1 16th ounce jig. It's not going to go super duper far. However, I am having a blast casting it. You can see that uh, it's a lot easier and a lot more accurate. I think that's the most important thing is that you guys, when you guys cast light lures with bait casters, sometimes it's not accurate because what happens is the lure is too light to be pulled out of your spool, right? So what happens when you throw it out, it's not gonna go the direction you want it to go. It goes off either left or right, depending on the way you cast. And the reason why is because one, the lure is too light, so light that it cannot pull the line off the spool. So if you want to resolve that, you know, obviously in BFS world, you have to go with the lightest spool as possible, whether you put less line on your spool, or like I said, you clean out the grease and put performance uh, oil in it, or put ceramic hybrid bearings. But enough chat, let's do a few more casts, uh, and then we'll go out and hopefully we'll catch some more fish here. All right. I'm just casting in an open just just to do some cast tests for you guys and um, So far it's good All right guys, let's stand up and just do a few casts. Look at that. That's 1 16th ounce. I don't think I ever cast This Z Viber that far. I mean, there's no wind here today. So this is a great time to test this and I Am actually very happy that I clean out the grease Holy smokes look at the distance Imagine if I actually got a 1 16th, oh, I got a bite right there. Imagine if I had 1 16th ounce jig head with a soft plastic, the distance would be like, oh, geez, that small little bass wanted it. I, I saw a chase after me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked, guys. I'm telling you guys, you, you, you must clean out all your reels. Factory, they do it for a reason, longevity, but we here for performance, right? Uh, acetone. Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. I was just adjusting my face mask and I got a tap. But uh, it's okay if I don't catch anything. I just got to do some few more casts. I definitely want to put another lure on so that you guys can see the distance. But oh man. Oh, a little overrun here. Oh, let's see what happened. Okay. There's a little play in my spool. I was like, what the heck? So we have a 1 16th ounce minnow shape jig head this is a size six hook and we're thread a two inch grub tail it's actually a minnow mini with a grub tail and i got this from bass pro shops nothing special get it on sale when it comes to smaller lures like these you guys go simple just like this plain white and i saw a lot of shad and at the beginning of the video you guys saw a lot of stuff jumping 
and that is because um, yeah I think it's shad spawning season or shiner spawning season like right after bass spawn there's a lot of uh, activity small little fish activity so I am gonna try to imitate these stuff and I'm gonna backtrack to where the currents are at because right now I'm out here the water here temperature is a lot warmer it's closer to 80 I think they want the, the cooler temperature they're not ready for that summer temp yet but I'm gonna circle around this thing one more time because I circle it one more time and ooh, this castle is smooth guys I think uh, because the lure is like a smaller profile and it is 1 16th ounce plus a smaller plastic I'm able to cast it with better accuracy oh I got a hit I guess the, yeah, only the small stuff are biting right after the storm. And you guys can see the storm hasn't really passed yet. The clouds are still here, but I'm assuming, uh, oh, I'm assuming another thunderstorm is rolling through. It's gonna be like five thunderstorms rolling through. Oh man, I'm telling you, the Sorinoia C472UL, because of the uh, fast action tip, I can feel every single bite. It's uh, really nice. That's a fish right there. You saw the whole, whole rod tip, maybe, maybe captured it. Let me put on my mask. It's, it's, it's getting super duper hot. All right, let's see if we get one or two here. See that? Very small fish. You just tap, tap. They're probably gonna rip my grub tail off eventually. They're in here. There's fish in here. Oh, there's one right there. Woohoo! <laughs> Got a dinky bass. Like I said, man, the big fish are not here to play today, but we're here with ultralight, so um, it's gonna be so much fun catching fish with these. Got him. I waited for that one. Oh yeah, I think it's a bluegill. The way that's head shaking. Oh yeah, definitely blue guy. Woo! Jumbo blue, jumbo blue. Jumbo blue alert, look at that. Look at this, beautiful. In you go. Stomach's still fat, love it. All right guys, one last cast in the open. I think I'm gonna do it right here because I don't see a glare, I see the trees right there. So it's actually nice for you guys to see the distance. But this is the distance right here, look at that. 1 16th ounce jig head with a small grub tail. It's actually really, really nice. And you guys definitely want to clean up your reels, the bearings, just the bearings. You guys don't need to clean out the grease out the, the gears or anything like that because you want you want those thick stuff there so that it stays on for a long time. You guys switch over to like uh, thin oil. What happened is you guys got uh, re-lube them with the, those performance oil a lot more frequent. But look guys, it's coming out easy going out far even if it doesn't go far because the lure is light it actually comes out a lot more accurate so um, I'm not gonna let you guys sit through of me trying to get some fish in this crazy front post front but um, I am definitely if I do have a good video coming out of this uh, trip I definitely gotta release it too and I'll just call it like ultralight fishing BFS fishing and but yeah I'm gonna keep this video nice and short just, just to show you guys the results of cleaning your bearings and um, yeah the results of it <laughs> thank you for watching guys if you guys want to see me do this video with uh upgraded bearings ceramic hybrid bearings leave me a comment below peace out